Morganfield is a quaint little town tucked away in northern New Jersey. It's a diverse community in the outskirts of New York City right across the Hudson River. I'm Carolina Arlano and today we're visiting Sensational Shop, a famous perfume oil store located on South Washington Avenue in the heart of Bergenfield's shopping district. The art of making perfume scents began in ancient Egypt but was later developed and perfected by the Roman and Arabs. Today, the perfume industry has become a multi-billion dollar business known throughout the world. Have you ever wondered what ingredients are in your favorite perfume fragrances? Join me for a little demonstration on how perfume sprays are made here at the Sensational Shop. Making perfume is a relatively simple process. You will need three basic items, grade A perfume oil, a mixing solvent, and a container. Now the first and most important item is the perfume oil. Now this is essentially the heart of the perfume spray. You should only use grade A perfume oil. Some choose to use essential oils, but for this example, we're only using ready-made skin safe perfume oils, which makes the process a lot easier. Using anything else but grade A perfume oil would be equivalent to a chef cooking a meal without quality ingredients. Here at Sensational Shop, there's so many different perfume oils to choose from, from traditional scents to designer types, discontinued and hard to find, and many, many more. Once you choose your perfume oil, you will then need a solvent to mix it with. We will be using Mr. Benz, which is a secret formula that contains alcohol and other various chemicals. Others use denatured alcohol, however, it's extremely flammable and therefore requires a license. Here at Sensational Shop, they have formulated their very own solvent that has just a bit of alcohol, water, and it's skin safe, which works great with their perfume oils. Now that you have the perfume oil and Mr. Ben solvent, the last item you will need is a container or bottle. We're going to use a glass bottle with a spray pump since we believe perfume should be sprayed on. The key to making perfume sprays is the amount of perfume oil you mix it with. We recommend that you start off with no more than 15 to 20 percent and since their perfume oils are grade A, we do not want our perfume sprays to be too oily or overpowering. So, you take your perfume oil and you pour about a fifth into the bottle. There are many ways of doing this. An expert can use their naked eye, but we're going to use a dropper. Once the bottle is filled with the proper amount of perfume oil, then you fill the rest with Mr. Ben solvent. But here's the key. Do not fill it all the way to the top. Instead, you will use only about three-fourths of the way. Now the reason for this is if you feel the mixture is too strong, then you can easily readjust it and fill the rest with Mr. Ben solvent. If it's too weak, then you fill the rest with perfume oil. It's just like making coffee. Some people like to add a little bit more milk, others more sugar, and so forth. As you experiment, you will find the perfect mix. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you've enjoyed this segment on how to make perfume sprays. Please feel free to visit the Sensational Shop at www.perfumeoils.com for all your perfume oils and perfume making supplies. I'm Carolina Arlano, and I'll see you next time.